and I live here in the Gambia. I'm representing the African Diaspora Returnees Association and we are a group of people who have returned to live in Gambia uh, because we see ourselves as Africans. So I'm representing that group. Why did you make the decision knowing that Africa has a history of political instability, a history of backwardness in terms of economy, corruption and all that. You left the life that you lived in probably in the Caribbean or in the UK or somewhere in America to come and live in the Gambia. Wow, you made some sweeping statements there. Political instability, you know, uh, poor economy. That's not the Africa that I see. That's the Africa that the BBC and the CNN tells us about. Africa's our home as black people and we have to make it what it is. If you think the West was paved with gold, it wasn't. I was born in the UK, but I was always made to know I was never uh, accepted there as a black person. So you see the difference. You know, even though I was born there and I should be able to say, yes, it was wonderful there, but it wasn't. The discrimination is still there. My parents faced it in the 60s. I faced it, you know, as I was growing up. My children are facing it. It's not changing for us. So it's imperative that we come home and we build Africa so that we don't make the statements that you made about the political instability, the poorness. Africa is a rich continent and everybody else can see that except us. This is why other people are coming here, but we're not coming here. So we need to come here and we need to enjoy the fruits of Africa. How do you adapt to a country that struggles a lot economically and even when it comes to basic necessities like food, water, electricity, the on and offs of electricity. You've been in the UK all your life and you've not experienced such kind of things. How are you going to adapt in the Gambia? Because it's the mindset. If you're coming home to Africa, you have to come home with a different mindset. The UK is the UK, Africa is Africa. And if you want to live here and be part and parcel of the fabric of Africa, you have to adapt. But in that adaptation, you have to be part of the change as well. So, you know, yes, we may not have stable electricity all the time. We may not have, you know, maybe all the things that we thought we needed in the West. But we have to think to ourselves, did we need all the materialism that the West has to offer? Have we been spoilt by the West? You know, is it really about living the life we should be living as Africans? We are different and we should be living a different life. So it's about adapting, but it's about changing the mindset first. You look like one of us. Do you feel at home when you came to Gambia? Absolutely. I've been coming here for 14 years, living here permanently for two years. This is the happiest I've been in my life. Every morning I wake up, I see the sun, first of all. And then I see people that look like me. That's enough for me. That's enough for me.